This is a revision video on RNAi. So as always, it's the same. There are revision questions. Have a go at the questions and then you can check your answers. Okay, so let's go through answers. So what does RNAi stand for? Well, it's RNA interference. And that name gives a clue uh, to its function. Uh, so let's move on to question two. SIRNA is a type of RNA interference. Uh, describe how SIRNA is produced and how it can affect mRNA level. So uh, you can break this down into, I think, five steps. So first of all, uh, you start with a long, double-stranded RNA molecule. And then, next step. This is cut into uh, double-stranded SI RNA, so small interfering RNA. And that's normally around 21 to 23 nucleotides long. And that's done by an enzyme. And then this double-stranded siRNA becomes single-stranded and associates with an enzyme. So that's a different enzyme to the uh, to the enzyme that cut up the long double-stranded siRNA. So next step. So that sRNA guides that enzyme to a specific target mRNA by complementary base pairing. And then finally, as a consequence, that enzyme is then able to cut up that target mRNA. And because it's been cut up, it can no longer be involved in translation, so prevents production of protein from that mRNA. So now, okay, now on to the final question. And so in this case, the alternative way that uh, RNA can work to prevent translation is so simply just blocking ribosome binding and uh, function of progression. And so for instance, in this example, we've got uh, a molecule of RNA. In this case, an example might be micro RNA. So that's produced by animal cells to regulate mRNA um, expression and uh, translation. And so because that's present on the mRNA, it's complementary base pairing, it prevents that ribosome from being able to bind or to progress along the mRNA molecule to carry out translation. Okay, so that's RNAi.